dear student today what is the circumstance i'm going to teach you for class 4 students chapter 1 that chapter 1 heading is there computers storage and memory devices so you i hope so you all will learn in this free time that so you will do study also and i will give the question answer also and you will write in copy also and you will memorize also so learn and do study well the first chapter that a computers storage and memory devices that we go for the first topic that is given here that is data and information you see here the first topic we have to discuss that is data and information so we discuss this one and i explain and i will write on that time to time with that one so what is data if i am going to find out the data so data is raw facts and figures that whatever we are writing that some particular things that like uh, in a school we are going to get admission so we are writing some here details we are giving to the school in the form that name father name address these all values are known as data but when stored data when of a student that is printed with the address and label and getting that some information that details that is known as information that means one thing is clear so from the data we are getting the information as a picture showing that you see that in multiple data that number of data we are processing and after processing we are getting that information okay now we see that a difference between that uh, data and informations first uh, of all that according to meaning the data are the raw facts that is gathered about the someone and something and the facts are refined by the processing that is called the informations and what is it actually that it is actually the text or numbers that is when we say that name that means some uh, somesh suresh dinesh these all are the text but when we say the raw number 25 85 these all the numbers but when we are getting that refined data that means the roll number suresh the uh, roll number 25 is of suresh that complete details who is getting that uh, marks these all things so data is an unorganized form and uh, information is organized form so when data is that uh, data is independent dependent does not depends on the information but the information we get from the data so that's why information is depending on the data so now next topic is that data storage unit we are knowing that in a computer all the information is stored in the zero or one form that means what is zero and one that is binary digits and one individual zero or individual one is known as bit is known as bit so bit is the smallest unit of the data and a group of bits that means 0 or 1 0 or 1 like that eight groups of 0 or 1 combined like this this is known as byte so this is the complete table given here that i hope so you will learn this one one nibble is equal to four bits one byte is equal to eight bits one kb is equal to 1024 bytes sometime it is important and it is asking in examination also in senior classes also you need that okay these are the data storage unit now we move for the next topic that is types of memory <coughs> in a computer we know that a computer is a storage space computer also having that storage space where we are storing the data and information we need to store there and two types of memory computer memories are there first is that internal memory second is that external memory so internal memory are of two types that is first is ram and second is rom that means this is internal memory primary memory most important memory in a computer 
and the secondary memory that is stored for future use we are storing the data we are and that using the hard disk we are storing the data file movie music all the things for the future use and cd dvd we are also using you have also used for storing that uh, project file and sometimes presentation sometimes giving that uh, songs and pen drive also we are using for transferring the data from one computer to another computer nowadays we are using in a mobile also from the mobile to laptop laptop to mobile phone so this is the memory card memory card we are using and everybody knowing that memory card we are using in mobile phone for storing the large amount of data here is that rom rom are of two types p rom ep rom and eep rom i hope so you are knowing that full form of that p rom programmable read only memory Ere erasable programmable read only memory electronically erasable programmable read only memory so we will discuss all the things now we go for the internal memory what is internal memory actually the primary memory in a computer that is known as internal memory so this is the main memory of the computer so that is present in a motherboard you see the figure like this it appears and you are knowing that this kit is used with a motherboard ram stands for random access memory it is used for holding the data whatever information we are getting but before getting the information data is processed and data is stored at the some place in a computer so that data is stored temporarily after processing the result is displaying the data is erased so that's why the ram is used that ram is primary memory that is that uh, you see here that written it uh, it's a data gets erased when the computer is switched off that means when you are turn off that computer data will be erased from the ram now rom is different from the ram rom holds the informations and that is given by the manufacturer to operate the computer you know that sometimes when we start the computer we are getting that in black and white screen that some messages how computer are getting that which type of devices you have connected these all things are already available in that computer that some programmed functions are there that is available in permanent memory that is rom now see here that full form p rom ep rom and eep rom electrically erasable programmable read only memory and what is motherboard you have seen that motherboard so in lab computer lab you have seen that motherboard so in motherboard all the slots are there given for that ram rom the that rom we are not going to add but rom is added here attached here but ram we can add hard disk we can add now we move for the next topic that is external memory external memory that means secondary memory that means uh, to store the large amount of data we are using that and permanently so as a backup storage we can use that and we are knowing that uh, which type of devices we are using first of all we are using hard disk in a computer we are using nowadays we are not using floppy disk but uh, cd dvd dvd we are using pen drive we are using these all are secondary storage device that means when data will be stored in this so that will be remain here that means when you will start your computer later after two or three days or in future any time you will get that data again and again you can reuse so now this is external memory now storage devices we will see that is hard disk compact disk so each and every device is having the different different capacity of storing the data hard disk having that 80 gb to 300 gb but nowadays we are getting 1 tb 2 tb hard disk so tb that means terabyte compact disk nowadays we are not using but uh, 700 mb data we can store and we can hold in it dvd we are using and dvd can store one 4.2 or 4.7 gb data so blu-ray dvd disk is also latest and this is modern that we are using that one for high definition and two layers working that means nowadays it is having that that means cd from the cd dvd having that more capacity from the dvd 
Blu-ray having the more capacity and the quality also. <coughs> Pen drive, very small portable device that you are knowing that it is a very useful thing and it is also known as flash drive. Memory card, that is most popular medium for use in a small electronic devices such as digital camera we are using memory card and cell phone smartphone we are using also. Next is that cloud storage. Actually, this is the modern technique that we can store the, our data in internet. So that means for future use, you can use from the internet. So in internet, sometimes you store the data. We are storing our photographs and all the things. And in the future, from any place, you can access that one. Suppose you are living in a Delhi and you have stored some files and programs in a cloud storage. And that same things in Bangalore when you are going, that you are not getting that your laptop and mobile phone. But you can access from you with the help of internet. In any other device also, you can get your data. This is the most popular nowadays that technique we are using that is cloud storage. Okay, so these all these all topics uh, when you understand and after understanding, I will give you the question answer also. You will write the question answer, but uh, understand each and every topic. This is most important. That's why I'm making a video tutorial from the home, and I'm uploading for you all. Now we move for the next topic that is last that key points what we have discussed and what we have understood from the chapter <coughs> first we have understood that about the data data is what and information and types of memory so what is internal memory what is external memory these are our view now next we go for the question answer section that is exercise section a i'm giving you the question answer but uh, i hope so you will try first objective questions from yourself and you can write you can get help from me and you can check your answer is correct or not now the first question is that section a a number question quiz name the two types of internal memory so you know well that ram and rom a nibble contains how many bits that is four bits now fill in the blanks question number b the process data is known as yes you are knowing information and zero and one are called that boundary it is its memory card is a yes secondary storage devices and rom is a yes permanent memory ram is a temporary but rom is a permanent yeah thank you now we move for the next question that is c match the following hard disk uses yes secondary memory rom uses yes internal memory and one kilobyte that is equals to 1024 bytes and four number motherboard that is last one that is the main board now true and false that you see first number will be true because process data is called information we are knowing computer can work on its own no false second storage devices are used to store the memory the many gigabits yes true now if we we move for the next that is question answer i hope so i will not read out the all the question answer i will you can make your video pause and you can write that answer so first question answer that i am giving you you can pause you can write from this and uh, we will go for the next question second number also internal external memory that uh, you can write you can by making the pause this video so now the third question that is there are many data storage unit we have discussed that bit byte and all that you can write as an answer these are all five so this is not necessary that all you write but you and learn that and that will help in your future but this one nibble one byte one kilobyte megabyte gigabyte terabyte terabyte till that you can understand and you can write it in copy but these all you have to learn so in examination any topic can be asked so next that cloud storage you can write this one also next is that five number question and after that we move for the last that application based questions five number questions you can write by pouch and uh, after that that last is that application based questions so first uh, I will I'm not going to read the questions but you understand that question is asking that uh, storage capacity 
is full and uh, Ankita wants to use the secondary storage device to increase the phone memory that we are knowing that memory card we are using. Next one is that uh, to secondary storage device she can use for that uh, she want to save the file permanently that we are using hard disk.